peace, love, blessings, abundance, and high frequencies to everybody that's watching. Um, right now, past, present, future, we have no time. Time is non existent. It's also an illusion. So, of course, you know, I talk about dreams. <laughs> um, it's not a day go by that I don't have a dream. I dream all the time. Even if I stop and take a nap right now, I'm going to go somewhere and experience something. Um, last night was no different. Um, it was different levels to it. Um, usually what I give you all is just a portion that I deem that's important that, you know, we all can look at and dissect. I'm not saying that I'm the all be all knowing. Uh, we're here to put the pieces together and uh, ascend. <laughs> so I'm not claiming to be the all-knowing teacher or anything. I'm just sharing my dream realm experience with you all. And maybe um, you all can help me. We can help each other. We put the pieces together and um, understand our mission uh, more clearly because, you know, everybody's mission is different. I just feel like um, that I'm able to um, be open to receive these messages or information through the dream realm um, that that's part of the puzzle and to share it with you all. So last night, um, a section of the dream was that I was um, in the car with two of my friends. We was in the car. We was like at a warehouse location or something like that. And uh, we were in the car. We was on the side of the street and it was dark outside. And um, my friend gave me and my other friend, she was in the back seat. I was on the passenger side and he was driving. So he gave her some DMT um, to do DMT. She did it first. And then he gave me some to do it next. Um, so um, I hit the DMT twice, uh, had two different experiences. So the first time I hit the DMT, I stepped out of my avatar or the body that I had in that dream that was being projected as me. I stepped out of the body, had an experience. I wasn't able to know anything or see anything on the first time. Hit the DMT the second time, and that's when I was able to, uh, I stepped out of my avatar. I wasn't in my body. I stepped out of that body avatar that I had in that dream for that DMT experience, but I was, when I came out of the DMT experience, I was telling my friends that was in the car with me that I saw aliens and the aliens were uh, white people or they were, they had white people, or they were white people. I can't remember if it's they were white people or they had white people. It's almost at this point one and the same to me um, because it was aliens and white people. Um, and that's what I saw when I went in on the DMT trip. Now, um, other things started to occur. There were number sequences in the dream and everything else, but that's just the section that I wanted to share. Now, I've never done DMT um, before. I haven't had the experience on DMT in this state, uh, what they call maybe the sleepwalking physical 3D state. I have never had um, DMT to even know what that experience is like, but in the dream state, it just stated that I was doing, um, DMT. Uh, the aliens, not quite sure. Aliens, white people, white people, aliens, if this is going to, um, be brought to our awareness, who we are based on, you know, our phenotype. If we're coming into a time where everybody is getting ready to be exposed and we'll really know who everybody is at their core, at their essence from the uh, star systems that they're, they're from originally. Um, I don't know if I was getting an insight or peek into that. Um, the dimethyltryptyline um, is heightened when we're in the sleep state. And I think mine is extremely heightened <laughs> during the uh, sleep state. It's almost as if um, I don't have to take the DMT to really tap in and receive this information and these visuals. I don't have to take, um, psychedelics like that to tap into the dream state or to receive messages and visuals, even though, um, I do partake in psychedelics, um, but never DMT. 
Um, so that was, you know, the dream. I don't have a profound, um, prophetic uh, explanation of the dream at this time. Um, I'm not quite sure uh, what it's trying to give us in that dream. Uh, if you all have any uh, thoughts on it or if you have any insight, if you... Um, if aliens and white people or DMT and, or understanding of who that race of people actually are in the star, star system that they're from um, resonates with you, then I am definitely free for your comments. Um, even more, if you want more, if you have more questions about that dream and what occurred in the dream uh, before and after and the number sequence, if you are someone who can decipher out dreams, um, definitely I welcome it. So um, outside of that, I really think that it's a time that we should be tapping in to the dream state. I know a lot of people may say they do not receive dreams and you may want to look into decalcifying your pineal gland. You may want to look into uh, what you need to do to raise that kundalini energy up to the third eye. Uh, some people may receive dreams. Some people receive visions. Some people can go into meditation and go into that transcendental state and receive information the same that I receive when I'm in a dream state, which is just my body at rest, but I'm still constantly creating and projecting and receiving and downloading and all of that. So um, all of it is the same. So however you, you tap in, however you receive information, um, I think it's time at this time that we all need to uh, either write it down, connect with a group of people or a tribal collective who get it and understand it where you can uh, get it out. Because the more that we begin to talk about it, record like I'm doing here uh, or just audio, the more that we get to go over it and listen to it and um, hear it and see it, we can start connecting the dots of what's really about to happen Oh, in this new realm. Uh, so, yeah, that was, you know, the dream. The aliens were white people or they were taking in white people or the aliens were the white people. Either way, it was white people um included with the aliens it was like maybe the aliens were one and the same were the white people i'm not quite sure but that was the information that i received in the dream state so that was last night so again um make sure that you are staying away from the distractions clearing out any negative energy um decalcifying your pineal gland um, doing the work that your spirit leads you to do, making sure you're not subjected to the attachments of this material world, making sure that you are doing the daily work in order for you to receive these messages, doing the daily work of whatever that looks like for you, whatever ritual that looks like for you, um, in order for you to uh, receive that divine download of what we are to do moving forward with this mission and what's actually going on in this simulation. So uh, again, thank you. This is the Black Fit Witch sending you high frequencies, uh, much love, peace, and discipline. <laughs> discipline from the distractions. All right, I'm gonna keep pushing the discipline from the distractions and this chaotic energy because that's what we're dealing with at this time. And if you are allowing those people, places, things, and ideas to be a distraction to you. Um, news, TV, vaccines, government, anything of that sort, then uh, please, please, please uh, make sure you do the work to awaken to your higher self, raise the energy up, receive the divine messages, um, tap into the cosmic energy of your higher self so you'll know um, what you are to do, how you need to do it, and how you can help others uh, with your light energy um, and why you're projected here into this reality. All right.